1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 2 through 6. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. People always stop reading there and they go, oh, you don't know the day or the hour. You don't know anything. He comes as a thief in the night. It's like not to believers. He doesn't keep reading. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Whenever someone says to you, stop looking for the, you know, why are you so obsessed with the rapture? Stop looking. We're told to watch and be sober. And many other places were also told in the word of God to watch, to wait and to watch. It's a beautiful thing. Nobody's ever going to rob me of that joy I get from watching, from looking at all these signs converge and knowing, wow, our king is coming soon to grab us, to get us out of here. As this world is getting darker and darker and darker by the day. Now, you're not going to rob me of that joy. No way, Jose. Revelation chapter 3 verse 10 because you have kept my command to persevere i will also keep you from the hour of trial which shall come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on the earth man that hour of trial is almost upon us we've seen these things since 2020 the way all the things that affect the world now affect the entire world it's no longer well this region's going through that and this region that's what the whole 2020 thing taught us is wow everything that's happening is happening on a global scale you know we're in the last days 